Hey everybody, I've been walking all morning and it is hot and muggy and sticky outside and I'm at the beer tour. This is Virvania. Virvania? Vir Virvania. That's the way she says it. And so um, I guess you're supposed to end with the beer, <laughs> but I asked if I could start with the beer and they're going to let me start with the beer and I can end with the beer too. Uh, and they said, welcome to uh, Lviv. So anyway, this is the inside of the area and there's not a person here. So it's just me. Thanks everybody. Okay, Bye -bye. so they're trying to explain the beers. So like these I think are dark beers and these are light beers. So she's going to give me a, a taster of each one of the beers so that I can see which one I like. And then I'll know um, when I go to the store, <laughs> what kind of beer. So this one is the 1715. Yes. This one is the... Line, uh, um, uh, white line. White line, white line, okay. Uh, to no filters. No filters at all, mm -hmm. just straight beer. But yeah. alcohol. Alcohol. Okay, alcohol is there. Which one is more alcohol? Uh, uh, four two. Uh, four two. Four two. Uh, e, uh, it's a four. It's a four. Uh, four four. Uh, no. Uh, what's that? All right, I'm gonna try four, this one. Four, Here we go. What's that? Four four. four. It's a four two. Four two. It's a... I'll try this one too. I like this one better. <laughs> Say hi to America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I have a big one? Big? Yeah. Okay, everybody, I'm going to have a beer and sit down and relax for a okay, second. Go ahead. Everybody, uh, this is Victor, and he's going to explain what all of this stuff is. So, go so ahead, uh, this is the beer museum, but uh, uh, we say it's more than a museum because uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it, is it is consists of the museum part and the art gallery. So, this is the ah. art gallery and the tasting place okay. where people can drink beer well uh, to touch the art um, exhibition and we also organize here different conferences fashion events and this roof is constructed of barrels of barrel elements ah. so 20 thousands of barrels of barrel elements are here so pretty long uh, four, four years ago it was opened after the reconstruction so in ah. previous times museum was only in the cellar so if you come downstairs you will see the old cellar, cellar. Okay. and uh, four years ago just this new project uh, was opened and now we have such a wonderful place yeah so it's amazing. I, the ceiling is amazing yeah. 20,000 barrels yeah that's a lot of barrels yeah it's gorgeous and the name of the beer in the company is Vivarnia Vivarnia is the name of the complex Livarnia and, uh, yeah yeah Livarnia means Livarnia. Lviv plus the brewery Livarnia Lviv, Lviv plus Pivovarnia Pivovarnia means the brewery okay yeah okay and uh, our uh, general position is the Lvivske Lvivske the main beer is is called the Lvivske as Lviv Lvivske. and Lvivske yeah okay. made in Lviv Lvivske okay and yeah. you've been here how and long our brewery was opened uh, in 1715 17 so, no get yes. out of here here. Here, 1715. Oh, is that that's why it's 17? <laughs> yeah, 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 17, yeah. So 17. that's older. America the, was founded in 1776. Yeah. <laughs> so this great. is your building is or your yeah. beer is older than we are. Yeah. So uh, and this is the oldest doing walking brewery in Ukraine because uh, from the time of the opening it was never closed. So wow. uh, before uh, during the Austrian time, Polish time, even during the, the war? Nazis, Nazis came here. They didn't close the uh, this place. Did so they it serve worked, Nazis? It it's still, it's still working. Nazis drank here. Yeah. Wow. No, because yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah. They they so, ran things. Yeah. Uh, and now. Wow! Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the Jesuit monks made the beer. Uh, yeah, they found 200 they found years ago. Yeah, yeah. So no, not even more. 300 years. But, 300 yeah. years. Wow. So here, the mentions about the uh, places where beer was born. So uh, Babylon, Mesopotamia. So okay. four, 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 uh, four thousand years. This is ago, when beer was the invented. Type, yeah, the type of drinking beer by using straws. Because it was non-filtered, it was more comfortable to drink beer by using the straw. Gotcha. And such a type of straw was founded here, there, uh, during the archaeological excavation. Okay. So such a type of a straw. And the type of the drinking the dish yet for, for the tasting. So they just put a straw down <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course. And uh, beer was of great importance at that time. So there was a great authority for the people who made beer. But uh, if their beer was bad, they were punished by death. 
Ah. So they were drowned in their own bad beer. Nice. So nice. it's just a type of the quality control. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I just can't get it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And then, so this is just all them making beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, imagine the figures that, that were put in the burial complex of Pharaoh, so they should do him beer in the inner world. Ah, so because okay. he just wanted to have such a fun, and they just the brewers from the edge. Okay. Just the figures of brewers. Uh, so the uh, Pharaoh's wife is given beer for him. Uh, just the slaves making beer, and also the type of drinking by a straw. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. So the are these real pictures? Uh, just the copies from the real pictures. Gotcha. Yeah. So and the cosmetics was also based on the beer, uh, the other hop. Uh, in Egypt. So Cleopatra used such types of cosmetics. Uh, uh, yeah, here in the ancient world. So three, three, four thousand years ago, just the gotcha. motherland of, of beer. <laughs> Long time ago. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, uh, map showing us the spreading beer. So the bottom of the map, uh, Egypt, Babylon, and across the Europe, uh, Germany. So hop. Uh, uh, hop was, was not used for beer, for brewing in Egypt and Mesopotamia. So only started, this tradition started from Europe. Okay. Uh, in Czech, in Kiev and Rus, uh, Czech and Germany. So they started to use hop. And just uh, these three elements construction, water, malt and hop. So three basic elements. They so just, here they just use water and malt. Water and malt. So and then water, and malt and hop. Yeah, but without here. hop. And hop they started to use there. And the northern parts of Scandinavia, so Britain, also, so just also this beer tradition is spread in the, these places. Okay. And you will see you now Central America uh, <laughs> beer of corn. So the ah, beer right. of corn. Yeah. Uh, rice in China mm. uh, and also different parts of Berlin in Africa. So gotcha. just that individual culture of brewing. Everybody added their own thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this line, so we do know in Lviv uh, means the city of lime. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, because because it was founded by uh, the prince, uh, by the king Danilo Romanovich, and his son, named after his son Leo. So ah. his name was Leo, and he uh, he uh, named the city after his son. After the prince. Yeah, after, after the, the prince. Lion. After the prince. Yeah. Okay. So this is and the this father, is... the father, and the son, and this is. Uh, the symbol of our museum, so ah. a special beer lion. So beer it was, lion. yeah, beer lion. So this was, it was just a parade of lions. Fourteen years ago, near the at the Rinox Square, near the, uh, so uh, there, there were twenty such lions, and every lion had its own theme. So the theme of design: uh, chocolate, coffee, some uh, pieces of. Uh, and this is the beer lion. Yeah, yeah. This is the beer lion, and okay. just the. Uh, for the beer tradition, so uh, uh, if you, you want to, if you have a wish, you can touch his nose, watch into his eyes, just <laughs> wait for some time for the realization of your dream. And here you have the who um, who drink Lviv beer will live hundred years. Ah, okay. So and this the words from the anthem of our brewery. Okay. So and the old different uh, brewing things. Yeah. Utens yeah. Utensils. So yeah, yeah. These pieces of barrels. Uh, they were in old bottles, uh, toys, the old toys, all, the, all these things were found at the territory of the brewery. So okay. because, because it was inhabited long, long time ago. And just uh, was the interest for the explorers to find something. So the, uh, these um, coins, 63 silver coins from Czech from 14th century. So they were founded uh, 20, wow. year, 20 years ago at the territory. So not far from here. So hmm. this, this place. And this Jew, uh, Jewish star, the star of the day, the star of David. But you will see, you can see here this uh, mug, beard mug, and uh, it was a, it was another interpretation of this symbol, just an apotropy, apotropy for the brewers. So this triangle means fire, wind, and earth. Okay. And the second one, malt, hop, and, uh, and water. Okay. So the combination of natural elements and elements for brewing. So ingredients, okay. and just it was the apotropy for the German, for the German ones from Nuremberg from the second half of the 14th century. Okay. Oh, cool. That's another interpretation. And we have the oldest, the oldest mug from our collection, 16th, 16th century, more than four, 500 years. Wow. It has, yeah. So it, it's made of tin. Uh, this uh, just a lid on it for the. For the unsanitary conditions, so against different bacteria, the flies. Sure. Yeah, and this 
Mark is just tasting beer. He's using the similar type, but also <laughs> this one. Right, yeah, glass, yeah. <laughs> That's why he's so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the, uh, just a card for the transportation of malt. Very this malt. is malt? Yeah. Hmm. And malt is just, yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. Like green, like uh, wheat yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is a medieval leaf, uh, and from that time, we, uh, it was just a, a cooperation of brewers. Yeah, and uh, only married men could be the participant of the, could be the brewers, original brewers. Okay. Uh, and also, this picture is living, so people here, people here are moving. If you see, yeah, the sounds of the old city. Right, right. Uh, and also the model of the fortification system, yeah, the tower. So we had 20 towers. Every tower has the name of the guild. So, for example, the, the guild of jewelers, the guild of barrel makers, and the guild of brewers. Beer, yeah, right. Every every guild had had its uh, had uh, its own uh, its own tower to defend. So okay. to defend against the enemies when the enemies enemies came here. So they should. They were invested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and this one, this is the arsenal, the museum of weapons. I think Ar I ate, arm and weapon. I ate lunch over there. Oh yeah, <laughs> but but uh, and the tower is not not exist. It doesn't exist now because. Uh, when Austrians came here in the 18th century, in the second part of the 18th century, they just made the, uh, the city uh, grow, so to, to make it more bigger and just reconstruction. Hmm. Cool. So, yeah. Also, uh, mugs which are tasting. <laughs> Someone is sleeping. They look <laughs> happy. Growing. Yeah, they look happy. Yeah. So. Hmm. Uh, and this is the qualification certificate of the brewer. Uh, also from the oh, sec, uh, the end of the 18th century, uh, German language because of the Austrian time here, mm -hmm. and uh, we have information about this brewer. So he had 61 years old, two years and six weeks of working period at the brewery. Uh, his uh, appearance, so average body structure, his white um, brown color hair. So, because uh, there was no photo at that time, right. and they should so they should, describe should this, him. Yeah, to, yeah, should describe him. And uh, he, it is written here that he did his uh, job with pleasure. Mm. So that's why he was recommended uh, in other cities. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So, and the old, the old leaf, uh, Rinox Square, the old leaf, and the suburbs, suburbs, and the central park. Okay. Uh, barrel. The instruments for barrel, barrel makers. Right. Yeah. And uh, in 1527, the city was burned by the fire which started from the old brewery at the center. And now mm -hmm. you will see the uh, live pictures of uh, this event. So the first one, wooden leaf, wooden leaf in Gothic style. Uh, and the fire started from the small brewery at the center. Hmm. So the city. Gotcha. So and uh, all all the city was burned by this fire. So and it changed its architectural face because. Uh, after we had Renaissance, after Gothic style, and it was built, it was reconstructed in stone. Gotcha. That's why we have wood, wood here, on one side. Bar, burned by the fire and the stone. Yeah, gotcha. and here the stone. Yeah, and after this reconstruction, there was were no breweries inside the historical park anymore. So only <laughs> outside the city walls. Outside they learned their lessons. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because of this this situation. Yeah. So and that's why. The two main reasons for opening of this brewery. It was the suburb, it was the distant uh, area, and also the water. Hmm. The, the sources of water were, were found here, not far from this territory. Uh, and that's why it was the main reason, water. Gotcha. Uh, and the Je Jesuits, I already told you that. Right. Jesuits opened the brewery and they were given the special permission uh, for the opening, this, they, they, uh, to have the legal Basic basis to open the brewery, found the brewery, and here is the copy of this permission. The original is in the archive in Lviv, 
and here we have the copy, but with the hologram. Yes, so the right, yeah, tradition it's pretty neat. It's the part so showing us that the history of the brewery, brewery is starting, was started from this this document as a permission. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, the band, uh, the Polish king, uh, which uh, helped the Jesuits to uh, to organize this place, and the, the man who founded the Jesuit order from Spain, Ignacio Loyola. He was uh, he never visited Lviv, but he founded this order, the Jes Jesuit order, and the Austrian time here, and the exhibition which took place at Strisky Park, one of the most most picturesque parks uh, in Lviv. So especially now, uh, everything is green. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are many places to walk there, and every uh, every factory has its own such a pavilion to uh, for for the exhibition. And this um, uh, at, this event happened in the end of the 19th century, and our brewery also was one of the organizers and participated mm -hmm. in this event. And from that time we had the first electric tram in Lviv. Ah. So Siemens, German company Siemens made these trams and also these electric meters for the brewery. So by Siemens. Hmm. So and <laughs> taps. Yeah, taps for barrels. Yeah. Also the old taps, the collection. And uh, at, the, at the end of the 19th century, the big uh, promotional company of the seven biggest breweries, hugest breweries in Lviv. There were 18, 18 breweries in Lviv at the time. Wow. And uh, here we have the seven of them. They just made a cooperation for the common interest, yeah, for the common business. Uh, now our brewery is number 15. So we are now, the place we are now. And only our brewery exists till now. So you can't find. Uh, in another one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So, and the, for interesting that here was after the brewery, a wine factory was here, but it also closed at the mm. same time. Such a so you're mystic, the only one that's open. place. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the logo, um, just uh, of this uh, corporation. Mm. Just a brand, uh, brand symbol. Uh, this uh, the main original document. For this, for, the, for this company and the tokens you can see this green dark and yellow it was the part of the salary so workers could change them for beer mm. at the factory so a different sorts of beer three sorts of beer and they could change the, the, their favorite mm. so and after that uh, the factory counted these tokens and such beer which was popular among the brewers mm -hmm. among the workers was produced for the common mm. people more right yeah, was produced more Hmm. Just a marketing investigation inside the inside the brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert Doss is supposed to be one of the most famous uh, owners of the brewery. He had German origin. He, he came here in the second half of the 19th century. Uh, but but he, he came not for beer, but for uh, oil. Mm -hmm. So he was the oil magnate. He, he heard that oil is at the south of the Lviv uh, region. So he found there this, this oil and made, made rich, he became, became, became rich uh, and invested money into the brewery. So mm. 20, uh, 20 years he was the owner yeah, of the brewery and also he helped... Oh, the is, opera house? He helped, yeah. yeah. He was the philanthropist. He helped mm. different people of creative professions. So sculptors, painters. He founded such a house, such a place where uh, when uh, different, uh, when these uh, creative people had no money for living, they they could live here right. in this place made in, in, uh, founded by Dams. Hmm. Uh, for, and the author, the author of this statue also was this uh, the citizen of this place. Yeah. Cool. And he was buried at the Lechakov Cemetery, so the oldest uh, cemetery in Lviv. Yeah. I think oh, I went by you can see me. the <laughs> such a safe. So the. Hmm. Austrian, yes, we are safe. Austria. Right. For money, for different. Right, right. right. Heavy. Yeah, uh, oh, and one more <laughs> apparatus. Uh, just the Theater of Shadows, uh, telling us the story of the son, the son of Robert Doms, Robert Doms younger, and his chambermaid Zosia. The love story. And this is the anthem of our brewery Theater of Shadows. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Interesting, okay. Yeah, so the story means that this chambermaid, Zosia, uh -huh. gave him beer in such a tower, eight liters of beer per day. So wow. for him and his friends, his colleagues, and uh, that's why it is called Zoska, as this, uh, as this girl. Because he came with her to Switzerland to make marriage, to make couple. Um, that's why it's such a love story. And the bell, but um, in the second half of the 19th century, such a spa was open near one of the breweries. And uh, here was not beer, not beer in this bar, but the water which uh, was left after, after producing a beer. Ah. So. Hmm. And just for relax, for relax in this bar, right, in the right. beer water. Warm water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, warm water, yeah. Uh, this how this place looked. So the Polish writer which, who visited this uh, place many times. Uh, so only one, only one such a spa um, place was open. So after it was closed before the Second World War, and, and right. later we had no, no, we had no such such places anymore. Right, right. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. oh, <laughs> but Bata means uh, an adventure type of person. So romantics, hooligans, uh, so people who are looking for adventures. Uh, just uh, beer fans, no, well, the old times, so the 30s, before the, this film was made in the 30s, before the Second World, Second World War, showing us the spirit of the city of the time, so we have uh, Batyare walking along the streets, just singing, dancing, uh, right. just making <laughs> jokes, and uh, two, hmm. main, two main persons, they are called, their names are Tonko and Shepko, so this one, this one, this Batyar, is from uh, was wo worked at the brewery. <laughs> also lived here. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh. And the bar, the old bar. Yeah. We call we call the, the pub Kneipa in just the, in brief. Kneipa. Yeah. Kneipa. Yeah. Kneipa. This word. Kneipa means the pub. And here we have a just a device for cleaning mugs. Ah. Oh. So it's squirt water in them. Yeah. Yeah. An advertisement of the beer, so who wants to live uh, without any problems should drink live beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a meeting of past and present, yeah. the old type export over, the, uh, the most famous sort of beer, and uh, nowadays we have just, just a restyle. You know, this, this export of a recipe book, the recipe, old recipe book from the 30s. Hmm. Cool. And the Soviet, the, uh, when someone uh, in Soviet Union, when someone just uh, had, a, uh, had a business, yeah, he came to different place and without the documents, uh, so with the documents, he took uh, some beer, some leaf beer uh, to be successful, hmm. to, to make success of his, of his doing. Yeah. And the old uh, the table, um, the board clock, when uh, workers came to job, they get cards, mm -hmm. they put cards here. Do, time clock. Yeah, time clock. Doing like this and just fix, fix the time of their coming to job. So they know what time they started. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, and just to hop. <laughs> and we are coming to yeah, uh, this part. This place, you, yes. you saw it uh, from the top, from the top, and now we are the around the view. Oh. So this basic roof. Yeah, they did a good job on that roof. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh. And this is where they dump in their hops and Yeah, and we have the video showing us the stages of brewing here at the factory. Hops? Yeah, hop, uh, not, not hop, but malt. Malt. malt yeah. What's that one? Uh, the malt is crashed and after that is moved into the mesh tank. So this, this it is the similar tank. Mesh tank. This one, yeah, yeah, mesh tank. Hot water is added. Mm -hmm. And then it ferments. Yeah, ferments, yeah. Filled 
Mr. Press. So we need the wort later, yeah. And this wort is put in this brewing copper. Right. Oh, this uh, the same at our factory. And hop. Hop is added. Hops. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. The collection of uh, labels, of yeah. new labels. So the oldest ones are from 20s and 30s. And they are from the collection of one man uh, who has been collecting uh, uh, labels since uh, nearly 1960. Wow. And he has uh, 200,000 of beer labels from wow. all over the world. So one of the biggest collections in Europe. Uh, Stein. Also old, yeah, yeah. From Germany, from Austria, so mm -hmm. from the ethnographic museum. Uh, the old mm. bottles, old bottles without right. the labels because you can read the name of the bottle directly in the bottle. And just uh, uh, these are real beers. Also, yeah, yeah, the real beer, but this is the model. The model just look going around. Okay. The same one is at the factory, but bigger yeah. and more noisy. Sure. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So the game. The game. Uh, <laughs> two two games we have here, and the first one is the rapid glass. You should catch catch the elements. Doing like this. Oh, you just move it around and oh, catch the water and hops and, oh, hops and <laughs> fruity beer and yeah. game over. Just a, <laughs> and another one, another one. Uh, oh, oops! You're thinking about the tasting, not about the game. Uh, choosing the game and uh, prison glass. So the combinations here. Yeah? Ah. Take the points. Yeah. So. Oh. For example, uh, la, 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 there is the combination. Combination. <laughs> Where is the combination? Anyway, oh, <laughs> that's perfect. okay. So third, uh, three. You should put together three of this one, and right. it will uh, just free space. Erase them. Free space right. will be yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So the uh, the beer family tree, ales and lagers, two main types, and they're grand branches. Okay. Huh. Also, uh, such as yes, micro micro walls. Uh, they are made of silicon. So just a game for children. Gotcha. You can touch them. Touchable, touchable yeast. Okay. And the man who found it. Uh, we, uh, do you know we are from t t uh, 2008, we are the part of the Carlsberg, Carlsberg Group, Carlsberg Corporate, uh, Company, which was started from this man, uh, Jacob Jacobson, who founded the first brewery in Copenhagen. So and from that time, the history is, was growing and the type of yeast, beer yeast, were well produced, etc. This is Carlsberg Green, this is the smell of the pop, hmm. the old type, type lager, so the filter and the fermenter. Thanks. Very cool.